Welcome back everybody. This is Hispanic Heritage Month. We're highlighting all the ways you can learn more about Hispanic culture in Western New York. So all month long, you can stop by the Buffalo Museum of Science for the Hispanic Heritage Month exhibit. It highlights 10 Hispanic Latin achievers in science. There are also Hispanic doll exhibit, and that one's actually at the Isaias Gonzalez Soto Library right on Porter Avenue in Buffalo. And that doll exhibit is gonna be on display all month. It celebrates Hispanic fashion. But there's so much more going on at the library than just the doll exhibit. And 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps is live for us at the library showing us the history of Latin and Hispanic music. Hey Taylor, good morning. Ed and Katie, good morning. I'm standing here at the corner of Niagara and Porter Streets in the middle of the Hispanic Heritage District. Now, all month long, the Hispanic Heritage Council is hosting events, and so many of those are centered around music. So I sat down with some local leaders who told me just how important music is to their culture and how they're arriving a program to bring more music to local kids here at the library. Salsa, merengue, bachata, cumbia, mambo, you name it. All these musical genres express something, and that's what we want to show the community. Whether it's playing from a car speaker driving down Niagara Street or from inside the Isaiah's Gonzalez Soto Library. You can't separate music from, from the Hispanic uh, uh, community. It's something that accompanies us in every single part of our life. We, we don't understand life without music. Ricardo Saeb has been playing music since he was a teenager in Mexico. I started by wanting to be a rock star, you know, playing electric guitar, but the, uh, the classical guitar was the one that really uh, captured me. When he moved to Buffalo three years ago, his goal was to give back. I always wanted to do something for children to uh, make it accessible for everybody to have uh, music in their lives, and that's what the Guitar Initiative is about. The Guitar Initiative is the Hispanic Heritage Council of Western New York's free program for kids that started in 2019, but was quickly halted by the pandemic. They moved online, but couldn't come together or host concerts. Now it's relaunching in person next week with two different classes, one where students learn the basics and another where students build their instruments. Real musical instruments that they can play out of recycled material, instruments like, uh, like guitars or banjos or anything, but flutes, all sorts of instruments. They provide all of the materials, including the guitars for the classes, and it's all free. That first year, they had 11 children making music together. For this year's relaunch, they want it to be even bigger. Even though we're launching this uh, initiative through the Hispanic Heritage Council, uh, this is open for all the community of Western New York. We want everybody to take advantage of this. I think that I've been extremely privilege in my life to learn from the best in the world and all I want is just to be able to pass that along and to give the opportunity to everybody uh, here in Buffalo. The classes here at the library start on Monday and they're for kids ages 12 to 14 and the building instruments classes happen on Thursdays and those are for kids ages 10 to 12. Now another cool thing is when the Hispanic Heritage Council has these events with the BPO or internationally renowned artists, these kids in the program get to meet these artists and end up playing with them. Now if you want more information on the program or information on the events happening for Hispanic Heritage Month, you can head right over to our website at WKBW.com. For now we're live in Buffalo, Taylor Reps, 7 Eyewitness News. That is very cool and what a great achievement and yeah. milestone for these kids. Taylor, thank you.